Hi, I'm Dr. Sherwin Hua. I'm a neurosurgeon here at Regional Medical Center in San Jose. I treat back and leg pain through the most advanced and minimally invasive techniques. The incisions I use are about the size of a dime. Back and leg pain is typically caused by stenosis or narrowing of the spinal canal which causes pinching of the nerves. The narrowing develops from disc herniations or protrusions, bone spurs, or buildup of ligaments and other tissues around the nerves. The treatment for nerve compression or stenosis is called decompression. Decompression is where we remove the disc material, the bone spur, or the overgrown ligament that is causing the pinching of the nerve. Typically, uh, a laminectomy is performed, which removes the bone overlying the spinal nerves. This is an open procedure that can sometimes lead to instability and a painful condition called post-laminectomy syndrome. In contrast, I prefer to avoid laminectomy and perform multiple small windows or cutouts through the bone, thus preserving the stability and allowing me to decompress and free up the nerves at the same time. We start by making a small incision about the size of a dime. And through this incision, we insert tubes in between muscles instead of cutting through muscles. The tubes dilate or open a space in between the muscle fibers to make room for the procedure. Through this tube or port, again, about the size of a dime, we can do the entire procedure. We have access to decompress the spine, remove bone spurs, disc herniations, ligaments, or tissue buildup as well. You may ask, does a small tube limit us to the small area? Actually, no, it doesn't. First, we can move the tube around to access several areas. And second, we have other tools, such as Boxano IOFLEX system, where we can reach multiple levels on both the left and right side through a single opening on one side of the spine. The advanced shavers at Boxano, as well as other curved instruments that we use specifically through the tubes, allows a safer, effective way to open the foramen or the openings where the nerves pass so that the nerves are completely decompressed. Again, this can all be done through a single small incision about the size of a dime. Whereas before, you would need major open surgery with a large scar, longer recovery, and all the potential complications of a laminectomy. Now, spine surgery is finally catching up with laparoscopic and robotic technologies used in orthopedic and abdominal surgeries. Finally, spine surgery can be done effectively and safely through a tiny, small incision.